Hello all, we'll start with the sixth part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So here you can see we have modeled this part till here. So now the next part uh, we can going through uh, the alpha maps into this. So for creating alpha maps you need some uh, images of the maps like you know the trees and plants. So we have some references over here. I have some alpha maps over here of trees and plants. So as you can see we have some images over here for trees and plants. So for doing this we need to go into the Photoshop and create two maps. One is your diffuse map and other is your opacity map. So opacity map is your transparency map and diffuse map is your color map. So let's get started. So open Photoshop. So go into file, open, open an image in Photoshop, the map image, the alpha map which you have taken over here. So let's take this image over here. take this image okay now the next part over here is let's crop this image first of all let's crop it okay now the next step is you can remove the background over here by using any of the tools let's use a magic eraser tool or you can use this magic when tool you can use a magic when tool you can subtract this stuff or you can also use the quick selection part so you can subtract this part over here Let's subtract this and add this over here. That's it. Okay, so after you are done with it, so let's go into Refine Edge and we'll remove the border. Oh, sorry, we'll remove the background. So let's smooth feather and click OK and delete it. So once you're done with it, just deselect this particular area. Go into file, save. Let's save as it. I'll make a folder over here. I'll make two folders. One folder will be for the diffuse map and another folder will make it for your opacity map. So after doing this part over here, we'll open this and let's save this file in the form of JPG or you can also save it in the form of your PSD file. So let's make it as PNG that is our transparent background and click OK. That's it. So now we have saved a diffuse map that is your color map. Press Ctrl and click over here and let's fill this color as white. Inverse it and fill the black color. After you are done with this step, go into file, save as it, go into the desktop and we have one more map, one more folder over here that is opacity and save it. After you are done, you can go into this. So let's take a plane over here. Let's take a plane over here for the tree part. So let's take a plane. So set the length and width segments as 1 is to 1. Go into material, press M on your keyboard. So you can go into this render setup and I can activate this V-Ray ADV 
go into material part go into standard and let's take a V-ray material over here now you have a diffuse over here you can just click on the diffuse click on the bitmap go to the desktop and let's go into the diffuse and put this texture over here so as you can see over here the color is coming over here of the texture now go back over here and you have a opacity panel so if you go into this refract also you can also give on to the refract let's check it out so let's try to assign it and reduce it so we'll uh, remove this part instead of that we'll directly apply it over here onto the bitmap so go into this and take a diffuse and set a diffuse over here go back go into the opacity panel set a bitmap go into this opacity and set this so once you have uh, set this over here as you can see now it is a uh, transparent so right now I have just assigned a plain material over here so now this is a kind of a alpha map this is in the form of a map you can see it's like a tree but it is in a form of a image that is a map so you can press E and you can duplicate it to make a copy of it so you can make multiple copies so wherever it is required So that's the way you can uh, use this alpha maps so we do have some other maps also so you can just take the same way just open an image over here let's take another image so we'll go into this alpha and let's check out we can take this this is also a good image so you can take this image in Photoshop and let's remove the background so as you remove the background so you can go into file save as I'll name it go into the desktop and you have a diffuse option so you can just save it now press ctrl and click and make this as white and rest of the part as black so you can inverse it and give a black color again go into file save as now go back again to the desktop you have a opacity map that is opacity and save it so in the opacity folder so let's go again into the max and you can just take a small kind of a plane for the foliages you can keep it over here go into the material let's go into the diffuse and go back into the diffuse map and set the second texture over here that's it so assign it now can I again go back go to the opacity panel go into the bitmap and let's assign the second material over here and put it over here so now you can see it is again a kind of a transparent so now you can again press E and you can rotate it easily and you can make n number of copies if you want to make over here so you can just make some copies and you can put it accordingly wherever.
this can be done in V-Ray also. So you can rotate it and you can just manage it. So now if you click out and if you press F4 as you can see you have this but in the form of a map. So you don't need to make the 3D trees. You know if it is a very long shot you can use the alpha maps unless and until you are uh, you know rendering a very close shot you can use the 3d trees so for a longer shot you can easily use it for creating this stuff so you can just duplicate it you can just freeze this part and you can duplicate it As you can see over here, so you can uh, you know resize it, re like you know if you want to make it some bigger, some smaller, that can be easily done using this over here. So in this way, it will you know you can utilize the alpha maps accordingly. If you need some more changes, you can let's take one more map over here. Let's open one more image over here. So let's go into the desktop and let's take a diffuse, oh sorry, let's go into the alpha folder and you can take the third image over here, we can take this also, so let's take this, the bush one, take it into it, so unlock the layer, let's remove the background. So you can just go and click over here you can just make it more similar and you can delete that No problem, you can use this too. The only is the uh, result matters. Okay, so now you can just press control and click with a selection. First, let's save this. You can just save as it. Go to the desktop. We have again a diffuse folder 3 and let's save it. Control and click. Fill a white color. Again, inverse it. Give a black color. And again, you can save as it. Go to the desktop go into the opacity map and you can save it so the same way we are going to uh, do this so again take a plane you can take a small plane over here so we as I spoke to you in the previous session that you can also use a plugin called forest light pack so that plugin will help you out to deal with this alpha maps so you can place the alpha maps accordingly in whatever area you want so go again into the material and you can go into this bitmaps let's take again a diffuse map let's take the third one 
assign it, go back, go into the opacity map, bitmaps, take the opacity map, take the third one and assign it. So go back and assign this texture. So as you can see over here, we have uh, created this kind of map again. So as you can reduce the size of the map over here. Press E and rotate it. So you can make a copy of it. So if you group it over here. Now we can try this object paint option. We have option over here. Paint with a selected object. So you can you know. But you know it's, it's taking its own axis. You need to check the axis accordingly. So where you want to paint you can uh, define that. So as you can see if you directly paint it then it might not give you the same way. The same results. So it's better if you use the plugin part over here. For managing the alpha maps. So that would be a great option. So you can just duplicate this in the form. So that can help you out. So you can just you know go on duplicating this stuff. So these maps are not so heavy that can be easily uh, manageable. So that's the reason we use this kind of alpha maps. Okay. So in the next session we will start with the texturing part for this. So thanks for watching this tutorial.